it's me, Jen, your pudgy picker. And Tater. Tater, Tater. There she is. <laughs> um, let me show you what I got today. It's Monday. And went to my two savers, as always. Found some good stuff. Not as much as I normally do, but a couple of items are awesomeness. Are you in my bags? Get out of there. Get out of there. <laughs> okay, let me jive. Let me dive right in and show you what I got. Um, I have a, a few cutting mats, but they are really, really torn up. So this one doesn't even look like it's ever been used. And it was $6.99 or $3.50. So these are not cheap. If you do use them, um, they are expensive. And even if you get a, a percentage off coupon or whatever, it's still, these are probably $20 to $30, depending on what size you get. So this is a pretty big size one. So $3.50 was definitely an easy pickup. Um, got this very cute... Uh, Mickey Mouse frame. It is wood. It was $4.99 or $2.50. And look at where it's from. Disney Parks. $21.95. So I'll do my research on that. Um, may go ahead and uh, list that on eBay. I guess we'll have to see. Got more signs because you know I always get signs. We got this cute one with the flowers on the side. It says, World's Greatest Grandma, and this one was $2. This is very cute. It looks very beat up, but uh, that's really how it's supposed to look. And it's got a bird, and it says, I will make a nest. And it's, isn't that interesting? Very cute. So that was only a dollar. I don't know, I think maybe they said, ooh, this one looks awful beat up. Maybe we'll just sell it for cheap. So, yeah, very cute. You know I have uh, bird, uh, birds, bird houses, bird cages, bird pictures on a shelf in our booth, so that will go there. Speaking of that, this is the most adorable thing on the planet. It is a little bird. He's got burlap on his head, a little fur and on his wings. And the string wrapped around his feet, and he cute. He was only a dollar fifty, very adorable. So definitely picked him up. He will look really nice with my display. And more birds. <laughs> I believe you can probably hang your jewelry on this, or if it's just for decoration, it is. Uh, you know, comes away from the wall. It's got a hook to hang it up. But that is very cute. It's got some Orioles in there. Pretty dusty, so, you know, there's always work to be done. Uh, this one was sold by TJ Maxx for $10 originally, so it was $4.99 or $2.50 for half. Um, these are very cute. One is opened, one is still sealed. They were in a package for $2 or $1 a piece, and they are napkin rings. Aren't they cute? So there's, what, two, four, six in there? So I will probably uh, be putting those on eBay, or I'll do my research. I always tell you I'll do my research, because I always do. <coughs> More birds, salt and pepper shakers. Very adorable. They both have their plugs. They were in a bag for a dollar fifty. Look at the little flowers and stuff around the bottom. Very adorable. Are you in my bags again? Rotten. You're rotten. Yes, you are. You're rotten. <laughs> she doesn't understand rotten's a bad thing. Um, I always find these. The last time I found one, it did not work. If you get a chance, you get something that needs batteries, try and look in the compartment because sometimes they are like gross and not were functioning. I did put some, uh, uh, what do you call it? Some batteries in this one. Cookie Barn. Looks in very good condition. <laughs> Yes, it's very obnoxious. But this was only $3. So not sure. I'll check online, see what that goes for. I may just take it to my booth. It is something very cute. People will love it there. Um, the other items that I got, 
that were a little bit pricey, but I really like them, are these awesome, awesome bookends. Uh, green ceramic elephants. Now these were originally, I believe, home goods. They were $9.99 originally each. $7.99 at the thrift store each, which means I paid $4 each. So eight bucks for both of them, but they are really interesting. And I know they will do well at uh, my booth, but I just couldn't resist. So uh, you got the, the whole uh, interest of elephants, the color, uh, that it's functional, it can be used. Um, it's, uh, of course, a newer item, but it's got the crazing, so really awesome. As soon as I saw those, I was like, I must possess those. So yeah, I possess them until I sell them. So pretty cute. Um, I got some more cards to make hang tags. There was these four decks were in a bag for $1.50. Also with this one, $1.50. So $3 for two, four, six, eight uh, decks of cards. And I'll show you the design. These two have birds. This one, these are so cute. They have butterflies and flowers. And then these are butterflies, Hallmark. And then these are more flowers. So yeah, I'll count them out, make sure they're all there, do my research. You never know, These some of these ones that are vintage-y, you can tell, um, we'll see. Um, but either way, I get uh, two hang tags out of each card and I love finding ones that have interesting designs on them. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that will definitely make a lot of hang tags. I got another container. <clears throat> Excuse me for my bamboo. It's got the cutout, so I'll have to be careful how much water I put in there. But that was only a dollar. Um, I have been selling bamboo like crazy. I originally two weeks ago took out eight. I only have four left. So I went by and uh, picked up a few more. So I got enough for three more um, Lucky Bamboo plants. Uh, I put two in each. So I don't know, they're doing really well. They're in a different spot in our booth. People love them. So this I pay a dollar. I'll probably pay about two to two fifth, no, two to two and a quarter for the bamboo. And then of course I have a ton of rocks I've been picking up at garage sales. So total, that's what? Three something, and I sell them for 12. And <clears throat> like I said, they're doing really well. So I've sold four in the last two weeks. So very pleased with that. I did get one top. This is kind of a vintage -y, uh Liz and me. It is a 5X, people like the larger sizes. 100% cotton, it's kind of got that beachy vibe. And that was not a million dollars, believe it or not. So it was $250, $275. I got this. It's very cute, but extremely dirty. Um, this has something on it that comes off, so I'll have to clean that. But this is metal lid, and everything comes apart. So, And then it's got this with the real pretty scrolling on it, but it is filthy. So I'll have to do that. <clears throat> Got a uh, flameless candle. I did put some new batteries in there. And guess what? It works. And then the base. So you could put just a regular one in there. And that one's metal. It says October Hill. Never heard of that. But this looks very cute together. Put it together and show ya. <clears throat> Yeah, and that was $5.99 or $2.50. So I thought that was a pretty good price. Very adorable. I'm um, not sure how much I'll put on it, but I'll have to be careful because people will be picking it up and stuff will be falling apart like I did when I picked it up in the thrift store. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I got this real gorgeous mirror. It's got like a rope type of design. It was only $5.99 or $3.00. Uh, the mirror is a little bit loose and filthy, so I'll have to look that over, figure it out before it goes out. 
This is probably going to make me the most money out of everything I've picked out. And I'm so, so, so tempted to keep this because I've heard a lot about them, but I don't need it. It is a real bamboo ultrasonic oil diffuser, and the outside is bamboo. This is brand new in the box. Now Solutions is the name brand. Um, it has everything in there. The manual, everything still wrapped up. And it was $350. These are going between $30 to $45. So I was extremely happy about that. I will be putting this up um, probably online, but very happy to get that. So I don't know. I've seen a lot about them, but I, I know it's just this. It's like salt lamps and all the other things people do. It's very, uh, very, uh, what's the new age? It's the chic thing to do, but I'd rather have the money in my pocket, so I looked it up with the barcode, and yeah, that's definitely going on eBay. What are you crying about? What? What do you want? Oh. And there's Pixel. Say hi, Pixel. Hi. Hello. Somebody, I'm going to tell a story on you, Pix. Pix, did you, see, did you steal Connor's sandwich? <laughs> she's not going to talk about it. So my son came down, made up a sandwich, took it upstairs for lunch, and went in his room for like one minute to get something, and guess who swallowed it practically whole? Yeah, not Tater, it was Pixel. Pixel is very food-driven and would knock down a small child if she could get a potato chip or something off of them. It's terrible. We don't talk about it often. But hey, she's one of my kids, so I can tell on her. So that is all I got today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment down below. Um, if you have a message you want to leave me or a comment, that's great. Otherwise, you could also email me, jen at pudgypicker.com. You can follow me on Instagram and also um, Twitter under The Pudgy Picker. Um, what else? Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I hope you enjoy these videos as much as I do making them. It's so much fun to show you what I got. Um, I never know what I'm going to get. I never know if I'm going to get good stuff. Sometimes I get to the thrift store and I'm thinking, why did I get out of bed today? But I did pretty good today and I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.